what's going on y'all it's your boy dennis down here at bmw motorcycles of jacksonville with the new model spotlight today guys check it out look what we finally got it's the brand new highly anticipated bmw r1300 gs adventure that's right guys finally the gsa has come to play let's check this thing out shall we now, just like its counterpart, the GS, they both feature 1300cc boxer motors, both are pushing 145 horsepower going to the rear wheel, and both have hitting right about 110 foot-pounds of torque. Absolutely amazing. But what's different on the GSA is the protection. Okay, you're going to notice right here on the lower engine guard system, all right, that they've got a whole different bar set up here, okay? And what that is, is will prevent the bike from doing a continuous roll in a downhill situation, okay? Plus, you're going to notice the guards right here going over top of the head, okay? Normally, that's big money through aftermarket companies to be able to get that kind of protection. Now, BMW is ready for you to take this thing and put it through the paces so they give it to you from the factory. And with adaptive ride height, the seat height can go anywhere from 35 inches to a much more manageable 34 and a quarter. So whether you've got the GS13 or the GSA13, as long as the bike's equipped with the adaptive ride height, seat height is pretty much up to you. And of course, to say that they redesigned the motorcycle would be a drastic understatement. Trading in its more narrow front end to a more boxy style that you're seeing in the new 1300. But uh, I gotta admit, all the lines have got a reason, and I'm sort of here for it. Now, even when you take the GSA 1300 and the GSA 1250, and you put them side by side, it may look like that 1300 is going to be a little bit more narrow dynamic a little bit more svelte so to speak uh, but they do both still share that massive 7.9 gallon fuel tank okay that's still a full three gallons more than the tank on the gs but that redesigned tank also brings your passing lamps into the design and into the motorcycle instead of hanging out there so it keeps them more protected for if you're out on the trail and that new boxier style design does allow for a much bigger windshield with much better coverage. The GSA is also trying to make it easier to be able to tie gear to the motorcycle or attach genuine accessories with the new tie down anchor points. All right guys, there you have it. The very first 2025 GSA 1300 that we've gotten in. Now this one does not have the shift assist, so there's gonna be another video coming that is gonna feature that brand new shift assist system. We definitely wanna get into that. So guys, if you have any questions on this or anything else that you see here on the spotlight, or if you just wanna give it a call and set up a time to come in and give this thing a test ride, give us a call. Phone number here is gonna be 904-375-2921 or you can hit us up on the website, which is gonna be bmwmcjacks.com. Now, if you excuse me, I'm, a, I'm just gonna take it around the building. I mean, I know it said it's a already sold unit, but I mean, I'm sure the new owner wouldn't want me to just, you know, try and push it all the way. I could drop it. That would be rude. Till next time, see you on the road. <laughs> 